Kindness is not just necessarily money, you know. It's giving your time, giving patience, things that money cannot buy. Because most times you feel like, no, I can just go and give, like, you, you, with people going to the orphanage. Yeah. You know, they, they are going to the need, they, they, you know, they, they yeah, need, needy. You know, you see, you have to give money, you have, no. Give your time. Those are the things money can buy. Mm -hmm. Everybody can give money. And it's important that this season, and even after the season, people keep being kind. Hi guys. Hi beautiful people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lorraine Shu, and I am a Cameroonian YouTuber based in Douala, Cameroon. It's an honor to have you on this channel. Welcome to Vlogman. <laughs> welcome back in today's video we're going to be talking about kindness yes kindness how to be kind in this season and with me here today is an amazing young woman and the first time we met was during a during an online course and we were the best students during that course and then we connected we clicked and we became internet sisters and we are actually meeting for the very first time today. I'm going to allow her to introduce herself. Thank you so much, Zulay, for the opportunity. My yes. name is Asongwe Samantha and I am an IT project manager and I live in Wala. Okay, so today we are talking about kindness. Yes. So what is kindness and how important is it in today's society and especially in this season? Why is kindness important? Talking about kindness, I don't know if there's any better season to talk about it than Christmas, you know? It's a Christmas Day time for reconciliation, showing kindness, giving gifts and everything. But I want us to go right back to what the Bible says about kindness. In Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32, it talks about, you know, be kind, be compassionate. Other people are going to define kindness as being selfless, you know, showing compassion, empathy and everything that is part of it, you know. Yeah. So, uh, to me, kindness is just the ability to be able, it's a character to begin with. It's one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit inside of us. So it's not something you have to learn. It's not like a book science. You don't have to study in a book. It's who we are as children of God. Yeah. Um, we're all Jesus Of course, babies. we're Jesus babies. We're God's ch children. <laughs> don't you know? try. So it is our character as children of God to show kindness, to be kind yeah. to everybody that we meet. Basically. Have you ever experienced random um, acts, of, acts kindness. of kindness, or have you ever, you know, done random acts of kindness to other people? Mm. Every day we experience acts of kindness. Yes. Every blessed day, you know, even when you take a taxi, you bought a taxi, you know, the person should takes you or shows you the direction. That's an act of kindness. That's you true. don't know someone this do For example, you just please, can you? Is this? Is this? Is this? That? Those are random acts of kindness. Mm -hmm. you know? And. Um, one very peculiar thing happened to me last week. If you know Duala very well, you know yeah. Antrebe Panda. Yes. I was taking it. I was. I took um, Yango. Yeah. From Antrebe Panda to Bunamusani. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, along when when I, when I entered the taxi, we were around the Axel Road Highway, and you know I saw the driver sitting on the steering. Yeah, Terry, I know, like that's the first reaction. I'm getting everybody. off that taxi. I don't want to die before my time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. On a normal day, I would come out of that taxi, send left, go to the app, report One the driver. I mean, re like a whole sentence, send a whole sentence to the, to the company. But mm -hmm. for some reason, the Holy Spirit told me to stop the driver and give him time to rest. I told him to park on the corner on the side and I told him to sleep for five minutes. I was going to pay for it. It didn't really matter to me. All I just wanted, all I felt inside of me was, I wanted this man to be okay. Yeah. You know, most times, well, if, if you notice on Saturdays and Sundays mornings especially, when you take a taxi or you take a car, you're going to town or you're moving, you see accidents everywhere. Like a cars, lot of accidents. So my soul, you know, and I couldn't see myself being one like that. Like, I, I couldn't see this driver. I didn't want us to get to that point. I told him to stop and let him sleep. He slept for like eight minutes. When we took, when we were going, you know, he, he tried to, he, I told him if he's still tired, he should stop and still rest. He told me, no, he's okay. He can drive gently. I mean, if he, even if he's not going, I'll drive. Okay, let's go and reach. I just want us to be safe. He took us home. I told him, okay, you can even spend time down here and rest before yeah. you don't go home because it was like his last ride. Mm -hmm. but because like was, he was walking all night and then one, that was his, the last one in the morning. He said, let me just point this one and go home. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But something in me, for me, I saw this man different. I saw him like, maybe this somebody's the breadwinner of a house. That's true. This is somebody's husband, somebody's father. You know, we're all, you know, trying to make ends meet. 
So maybe that was he was just planning to take this one. Maybe he's gonna solve a family problem somewhere. I really felt that deep true. down in me. And by midday, I received a message on my phone, a WhatsApp message. He was thanking me for that. Now I've done so. I've shown kindness to many people, but for some reason, this particular message meant the whole world to me. You know, the way he expressed it. Actually, you know, it's not just about saying that thank you. No, yeah. He explained how it meant to him and what that particular situation. Oh. If he continued, maybe if he had continued, we'd have had an accident. All of, of us would have course. been involved. Yes. You know, all of us, we would have been, like me inclusive. It's not like it would touch only him, it would touch me as well. That, and of I, course. And that singular act, I'm even talking and going far, just before coming <laughs> here today. Yeah. There's a program I have every month, a prayer program I have every month. Every month. So there is this lady, she has been following the program, she started this year. Today I woke up this morning and I received some voice notes from her. Now it's true that I know that it's going to impact a lot of lives. But this is really the first um, reaction I have gotten, you know, and she was thanking me of the impact of the program in her life, her personal life. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing I don't want people to understand is kindness is not just necessarily money, you know, it's giving your time, giving patience, things that money cannot buy. Because most times you feel like, no, I can just go and give, like, with people going to the orphanage. Yeah. You know, they, they are going to the meet the, you know, the, the yeah, needy. Yeah, the needy. You know, you see, you have to give money, you have no. Give your time. Those are the things money can buy. Mm -hmm. Everybody can give money. You know, give your time. She she told me the time that we spent, you know, all through this month, it has transformed her character. Oh. That is what is most important. You know, as children of God, we our our role model is Jesus. We look at the character of Jesus and how we live this life. Mm -hmm. He helped people, you know, he read, he was compassionate. Yeah. You know, how the Bible puts it, 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 I really like how the Bible puts it when he wants to explain. You know, in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 to 7, it talks about love is kind, love is patient. And you see how, because Christ himself, he was patient, he was kind enough. He loved us so much that he came to die for us. Those are things that you cannot pay with more 70 years, 1 million years. In fact, to the rapture, you cannot pay. You can't pay. You see, so that alone, it really meant a lot to me. And it's important that this season, and even after the season, people keep being kind. I also want to ask, okay, so how can I show kindness? How can I be kind? That's another mm. question I want to ask. How can I yeah. be kind to somebody? Around you, they are homeless people or they are old people. Have them carry water in Dollar they have water problems. Yeah, yeah, everywhere. Their children going to school. As a matter of fact, every day we experience these things, like I said. Their children wanted to cross the road, and this child could not trust who had younger siblings. I was standing, I was waiting for a taxi, and I told her, Give me your hand, let me Those are acts of kind. You don't know how much that is going to change their lives or how much is going to bless them. That's true. But those are things that basically transform people's lives. It shows them a different part of what humanity is all about. That's true. Humanity, yeah, the about, humanity. Yeah. Yeah, the human part of who we are. You know, and basically that 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 experience for me, it gave me a different side of life. You know? mm -hmm. And the amazing thing is, people feel like when you're doing kindness to somebody, you're you're doing a a, a, a favor for the person. <laughs> but it's for yourself. That's true. Whatever you sow, you reap. You reap it. Yeah. You know, the amazing part is the story of the driver who was taking you back home and who was feeling sleepy. You know, one thing and one way of being kind or being understanding was that you would have just left the car and told him that, okay, please, if you're tired, just drop me off. Let me go and then you can stay here and rest. Okay. But I mean, the fact that you stayed back to make sure that both of you are fine is something else. I cannot imagine myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know when I received the message because I didn't even take his number yeah. and I really I was really worried because I wanted to know that he had gotten back home. Yeah. When I I didn't even take his number. So when he sent that message, I tell you, it was like it was like the best thing I've done. Like even if I don't do anything again today, I'm done. I'm, I'm fulfilled. Okay, but you know, um, people usually say like in French, they say trop bon trop con. Sometimes when you're a very nice person, people take advantage of your kindness. So what are some of the downsides, the disadvantages of being kind? Because sometimes they say, eh, eh, Asia, carry Kenja. You can want to be compassionate towards somebody and then, you know, like people who want to go and separate fight. You see people fighting, you want to go and separate them and then you meet your own demise. We've heard stories of that. So what are some of the downsides of kindness? Um... I don't want to say they are downsides, you know. <laughs> I don't want to say talk about downsides. Mm -hmm. Because the first thing, let me, let me, that, you see the example? Yeah. Let the Holy Spirit lead you. Amen. First, let the Holy Spirit lead you. <laughs> because some people just like to go and put their head when they are not, they are not sent at least. Let the Holy Spirit lead you. But I want to say that the first thing you should eliminate is expectation. Don't expect anything from anybody. 
like I said, you're not doing it because you're expecting that the person is going to do something kind to you. Mm-hmm. Yes, in return. We it because it's who you are. Mm-hmm. It's part of your. It's your life. It's a way of life. Mm-hmm. Kind of, it's a lifestyle. You know, so you're not expecting that this because I'm kind to this person, this person will give me back. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, I hear a lot of girls say, um, it's when they, if you don't if uh, do for who do for you. Yes. Oh, terrible. <laughs> it's a terrible thing to say. You know, when you eliminate expectations in life, you are not you live a life, a free life. That's true. It gives you peace, it gives you joy. Absolutely. And you see that you begin to function from a different realm. Mm-hmm. While others are seeing those menial things, those small, small things, you are looking at the bigger picture. I've had people come through for me without me expecting. But basically, it's the seeds I've sown before. You know, it's the seeds I've sown before. And talking you Based, I remember this, you know, I lost my mom a couple of years ago, like eight years ago. But there was this her friend for constantly two, three, eight, four years, this lady would send us money. Mind you, I we really did not have the relationship with my mom's yeah. friend. Yes. You don't know what transpired behind the back because I know for some reason that they had a good relationship. Definitely. You know, and this lady will not see this woman's children so and fun. not do something. These are things there are so many ways kindness pays. So even if the person you're doing does not appreciate it, this is always you're always going to rip the fruits of it in front. Yeah. I'm not saying that do not appreciate people. But some people think you know, to appreciate people, it has to take the whole world. No, just a simple thank you. I appreciate you, you encouraged me. You know, because you said this, this thing carried my life forward, you know. That that's just all. It doesn't it it, it frees you, it makes you a better person and it helps our society. That's true. Oh, that's so sweet. So, um, before we close today's video, what are your last words? And I mean, this is the Christmas season. You know, this season comes with a different vibe. Even though the things that people are called to do during this season is what they have to be doing all year. But for some reason, the way life is planned, certain seasons bring us back. Like, because for some people, if these holidays were, if these holidays were not existing now, some people will never take breaks. Some people will never go back to their villages That's to go and, Like, if these seasons were not there, people would never... So, how can we be kind, especially in this season? This season is a season when some people have so much, others don't even have. Okay. And not even just about that, but what are those, like, some of those acts of kindness you think can be good that people do in this season? And what are your last words when it comes to kindness? Empathy. Put yourself in the last person's situation. You know, like, we're all tired. But, you know, the economy, the sun is all burning. It's burning all of us, you know. <laughs> there are things that you have in your house that you have not used. In fact, if you have a dress, you've not used for three months. Yeah. You'll never wear that dress. That's true. In fact, that's what my pastor, if, as a matter of fact, that's what we're doing all through this new church. Mm-hmm. You know, we're giving out, giving to people. People come to church to take things for free. Yeah. From now to the 10th of December. So basically, that's what we'll be doing all through. So just you see that dress they are not wearing, mm-hmm. take it and give it. That's true. <laughs> you see that powerful utensil there. It should be in good state. Make sure it's something yes, you can use. Yes. Give it out. Give it out. That's true. You have more. Mm-hmm. The Bible will say, "We give you receive." It's a it's a principle. It, that's why even non Christians they are flourishing. They, they are flourishing are yes. because it mastered this principle. Now one more of you and I are children of God. I'm telling you. Just give out. In the in essence. Emily, the life of Jesus. Bam! <laughs> the life of Jesus. And if you're wondering who Jesus is, go and do your research. <laughs> come to me. Yes, come to her. Yeah, yeah she's a Jesus baby at any time. She's, <laughs> she's a radical evangelist. Like. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for being with us throughout this video. Please let us know in the comment section if there was anything that really touched you. Did you experience any... Um, random act of kindness or have you ever been kind to another person did they appreciate you did they not appreciate you just let us know everything about kindness in the comment section come back tomorrow for another video bye